Dr. Endel Tulving's body of work provided the foundation for the entire field of memory research over the past four decades and has therefore contributed significantly to an increased understanding of neurological disorders such as stroke and Alzheimer's disease. Endel Tulving was born in Estonia in 1930. I was a very good student in school. I always was best in the class and uh, learning came easy, but I had no intellectual interests. I read a lot. I loved science fiction uh, as, a, as a lad. I read lots of science fiction. In high school, I was nuts about all kinds of sports, particularly track and field athletics. I was bored with all other sciences. We had, had of course, physics and chemistry and all that because they seemed to be all finished. And we also had a course in psychology. And then I said, hey, this is really fun. I f realized that there are more interesting things to find out, find out about the normal human mind than there is about anything else. When World War II broke out, Endel was separated from his parents and spent the next few years in a refugee camp in Germany before getting the opportunity to emigrate to Canada in 1949 to begin his new life. After marrying his sweetheart in 1950 and spending time in training at Harvard, young Endel started his research career in labs at the University of Toronto. At one point, I um, uh, realized that what really had been missing in our science of memory up to that point was any interest in or concern with what we now call retrieval processes. He sees it differently and then he presents it in a manner that states a simple new truth in a very powerful way. In 1966 I published an influential paper on, on retrieval processes, separated First time, I think, ever, yeah, anyone, anyone done, separated uh, storage from retrieval. Also, his formulation of the idea of different memory systems has been another of, uh, of his major contributions. Memory systems both defined at the behavioral level, different ways that we have of remembering and how we experience memory, but also how these different systems relate to different parts of the brain and different parts of the brain in interaction. So one of his big insights was to realize that this memory that we have of our own personal memories is actually tied up to our consciousness of ourself. So episodic memory has to do with your remembering your own past and semantic memory has to do with um, your knowing about the facts of the world and so on. And Endel again uh, sort of reinvented himself in a sense as a, a new kind of scientist uh, starting in the 1990s. Uh, to look at how memory and his ideas of memory could relate to the brain and what we knew about brain at that time. We do an experiment comparing episodic semantic retrieval. We got a nice pictures of nice pictures of the brain separating them. Hey, this is where uh, retrieval episodic retrieval occurs, and this is where semantic retrieval occurs. And his ideas there, as well as in other spheres have very much uh, moved research along in this kind of, uh, uh, sort of jump-like fashion. What is important clinically, of course, is the whole idea that memory is not memory is not memory. Because without him, we would not be able to say this disease affects this aspect of memory, but not a, that aspect. Uh, more specificity that is always useful to know what is it that you're treating, what are you diagnosing, what are you making predictions about. You're known in science by the societies, royal societies you belong to. So if you get to belong to the Royal Society of Canada, you know, that's a special honor. He belongs to all. I, I can't think of any royal society he does not belong to. He's touched everybody who ever does any work in memory because if you do it, you have to have understood his work. So therefore, when you're doing a test and when you're looking at a type of memory, you're touching that individual through Endel's research. Canadian Medical Hall of Fame Laureate for 2007, Dr. Endel Tulving. 